British Bulldog? Um, probably for me it would be uh, London, so like the Tower of London or House of Parliament. Um, I think for me it would be football, I think. I'm from Manchester so it's a big, big thing up there. Alright, one flag. icon. Flag. Flag. Um, can we can Good. we make Jeremy Corbyn into a symbol? Beatrix Potter. Uh, Union Jack. Yeah. Bulldog. Okay. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Uh, I think an icon for um, Great Britain is the royal family. Symbol of our country is James Bond, right? <laughs> he's misogynist. He's a bit racist. He's a dinosaur. He's completely outdated. Yeah. But he's got a sort of classiness to him. So. But we'd like this guy. Yeah, with the guy. run a shop like that, fish and chip shops. Oh, it's really, it's a lot of fun. I think what it is is the city is amazing. Um, I love Norwich and it's just very special. So I think whatever kind of shop it would be, because this is the first time I ever run a fish and chip shop. I mean, I mean it's very, very funny. The, the, it's kind of like a soap opera. It's like oh. a, yeah, every day because I mean, having, we have 17 staff just those little dramas and then we have you know all the customers that come in and you have regular people coming in all the time so they used to make shoes around here there was a few shoe factories mm -hmm. and this shop has been a fish and chip shop for over 80 years and so this couple came in one day and they were um, you know probably like in their 70s and um, they said that they used to work in the shoe factory when they were like in their teens in their 20s 19, 20, 21, and they got engaged in the chip shop on their lunch break once. Oh. So they came back 50 years later to see if it was still open, and they had lunch down where they had where they got engaged. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. It's entertaining. Customers are always entertaining. Um, every day is different. So it's and being on, on such a market, so you get to see all walks of life, all, all nationalities. So you see funny things go by. I mean, we have Pride this weekend, that'll be great fun. There'll be uh, lots of rainbow flags and all that sort of stuff going on. That's on Saturday. So we'll be all dressed up for Pride. And it's a family business. I'm the third generation to own it since 1953. Oh. What is, what is it like to run a shop like that? Well, it's good as you're your own boss, so you can, within reason, choose when you open, when you close. Um, you don't answer to anyone. Within reason, you can do as you please. What's hard about it is that it's just... <clears throat> I am the only um, owner of the business, so with everything associated with running the business, ordering, accounts, wages, staff, all of that, that means it's hard work. This particular business is known worldwide. We have a reputation built up over those generations and we have visitors from all over the world, Australia. Do you remember any? You know, we have or... one man who comes from California every winter, every summer, and while he's here he has fish and chips m m nearly every day. Everything is done fresh, all the fish come in all cut, and all I have to do is take the bones out so people don't eat the bones, then, um, then just fry it. We have people come in here, they come in there two, three times a week. Oh. I've got people here busting And what's the nicest customer ever? Do you have any? They're all nice. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah? Oh. Can we go with them? Yeah, thank you. Hello. 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 Hello.
like about this place where you come here? Because it's nice and clean, the people are very friendly, and you can't get better fish and chips on the very much. This one here is the rating of hygiene. The, bit, the bigger the mark, the better the hygiene. If you get down to this one, on this one, they give you so many days to cook, and if you haven't got it up to standard, they can close you down. But the council come out and do this at least once a year. What do people usually see, uh, have about uh, fish and chips? It's, they mainly have this basic thing is, is chips, it's nearly always chips. Uh, and then sausages and occasionally fish. Uh, we offer them with some lemon and a knife and fork and try and create it a little bit special yeah. for them. Um, and they always go for the vinegar and salt. <laughs> Mostly ju people just have chips most of the time. Sausage and chips is popular. Uh, but corn chips sells okay. Yeah. They just have it. Some have curry on the chips with fish or gravy. But usually it's just plain salt and vinegar on traditional fish and chips. Um, well, we mostly sell, the most popular in this area is cod. We have cod chips and they love their peas. And then um, sausages we sell a real lot as well. But mostly it's cod. And then um, the um, healthier fishes like the mackerel and um, the herring are doing really, really well. Yeah, they sell um, very well, so they're doing good. And then we have the pub across the way. And so you're allowed to bring your drinks over here or you can take your food over there. So they like to have beer with their, <laughs> with their fish and chips as well. Okay. <laughs> and mushy peas. Yeah. Um, curry sauce. <laughs> I don't have anything, but she's from <laughs> up north. So they always have curry sauce up north. Salt, salt and vinegar. Ketchup, and that's about it. I don't like mushy peas. I don't mind mushy peas. Mushy peas. <laughs> <laughs>